I'd like to update you on the current military situation above and under the ground with regards to Operation Northern Shield. The IDF launched Operation Northern Shield on December the 4th with the aim of exposing and neutralizing all Hezbollah, uh, Hezbollah's cross-border attack tunnels from Lebanon into Israel. Today, we are exposing a fourth cross-border attack tunnel dug from Lebanon into Israel by Hezbollah. This tunnel was dug from the South Lebanese Shiite village called Ramye, near the Israeli community of Zarit, in the western sector of the Blue Line. The existence of this tunnel has been independently verified by UNIFIL on the ground, and they have also confirmed that it, the tunnel indeed crosses from Lebanon into Israel. Back. Now, the context of our operation is Hezbollah's offensive plans, a plan that Hezbollah calls conquering the Galilee. And the aim of our operation is to deny Hezbollah the ability of achieving its goal to attack Israel. The cross-border attack tunnels were supposed to have been Hezbollah's surprise component against Israel and one of the organization's biggest secrets. That plan has now been exposed. This is the area of the village of Ramye. The tunnel was dug from the outskirts of the village and crossed the UN marked blue line into Israel. The IDF has been able to locate this tunnel by analyzing Hezbollah's aforementioned attack plan that they call Conquering the Galilee, by using sophisticated technology, and by monitoring changes to the soil and terrain. As you can see here, several indicators of hostile activity are visible. As the pictures show, artificial and abnormal landscape changes were detected in 2016. A single tree that you can see here caught fire and burned in the middle of the vegetated area. And in the following slide, you can see the differences between 2016 and 17, the green spot versus the uh, exposed spot. Hala? This is the tree that I spoke about. And uh, this is a zoom in on that specific uh, tree after it was burned. That, of course, was an indicative sign uh, for us to pay attention. We also saw new signs of trails being utilized in the area. All of the above, in addition to input from various specialists and advanced technology, allowed us to locate and expose this attack tunnel. To conclude, we are aware of Hezbollah's attack plans against Israel. Operation Northern Shield will continue, as long as necessary, to neutralize Hezbollah's tunnel using both overt and covert measures. Thank you. Thank you. A few weeks ago, um, Israel launched a campaign to um, expose and neutralize a network of cross-border terror tunnels uh, on our northern border with uh, Lebanon. Uh, since the uh, beginning of this campaign, on December 4th, we've uncovered, so far, four uh, tunnels that uh, cut into our territory. Uh, their goal uh, uh, has been uh, to uh, uh, penetrate our territory, and kidnap uh, our people, including civilians, murder civilians, and conquer the northern piece of the Galilee uh, this is not merely an act of aggression, it's an act of war. Uh, and it's a part of a war plan, I would say. Part of a war plan, it's been confirmed by Unifil. Unifil has confirmed the existence of these tunnels. Uh, and they have said that they represent a clear violation of UN Security Council Resolution uh, 1701. Uh, Hezbollah is doing all this because Iran supports it. Supports it in every way, including with money money that it got from the uh, flawed Iran deal, 
And this is part of the Iranian web of aggression. Uh, it is important to understand what Hezbollah is doing here. It's committing a double war crime. It's targeting, targeting Israeli civilians while uh, jeopardizing, um, while hiding behind Lebanese civilians. Targeting Israeli civilians while hiding behind Lebanese civilians. That's a double war crime. Uh, the people of Lebanon have to understand that uh, Hezbollah is putting them in jeopardy. And we expect Lebanon to take action against this, to protest against this, not to give in to this. And the fact that the Lebanese army is doing nothing means that they're either unable or unwilling or both to do anything about this. But it doesn't absolve Lebanon's culpability. Their territory is being used to attack our territory. Their territory is being used to dig terror tunnels, to terrorize, kidnap, murder our citizens. And therefore, we hold Lebanon accountable. Now, we think the international community should hold uh, Iran, Hezbollah, and uh, Lebanon accountable, and it should uh, act accordingly. Because what you're seeing is not merely a grave violation of our sovereignty and our security, but a grave violation of any nation's security. Hezbollah is using now every third house in villages in southern Lebanon for these aggressive purposes. Every third house. And the UN knows this now. So what does the international community uh, do? I think uh, uh, three things, several things are required, and I'm going to uh, itemize them. Uh, <coughs> I called on uh, uh, the UN to convene the Security Council, uh, and that meeting is taking place today. Uh, I appreciate the fact that the United States is taking an unequivocal stand against Hezbollah and pushing for the Security Council to hold this urgent meeting. Uh, Ambassador Haley was right when she said two days ago at the UN that Hezbollah must be condemned for, here's the quote, jeopardizing the safety of the Lebanese people and violating Israel's sovereignty. So I call on all the uh, members of the Security Council to condemn Hezbollah's wanton acts of aggressions, to designate Hezbollah in its entirety as a terrorist organization, to press for heightened sanctions against Hezbollah, to demand that Lebanon stop allowing its territory to be used as an act of aggression and its citizens to be used as pawns, to support Israel's right to defend itself against Iranian-inspired and Iranian-conducted aggression. I call on the uh, Security Council to demand that UNIFIL fully meet its mandate and deepen its operations. This includes ensuring that UNIFIL has unrestrained access to any area in southern Lebanon, including private and public lands, that UNIFIL has the ability to get to any area quickly before they cover up uh, and destroy the evidence, that UNIFIL is not restricted by Hezbollah or the Lebanese army in any way and reports on any obstructions, and that UNIFIL provides detailed reports of any violations to the UN and to Israel in a timely manner. I hope that the Security Council will stand up for the truth and for peace and security. I hope that it takes the necessary action, the correct action, the moral action. And in the meantime, Israel will continue to take all the necessary action to protect our people and defend our borders. Thank you. I was asked whether the Lebanese army uh, knew in real time about the digging of these tunnels. Uh, to the best of our uh, knowledge, the answer is no. I think very few people knew about it, period. But they know about it now, and they should be there. They should be going to the entry piers of these tunnels. They should be uncovering them and neutralizing them. They're not doing that, and that's their obligation to do. Any more? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. One, one at a time, yeah. There's a very big difference in what we're doing, which is basically trying to uh, protect ourselves uh, in the sky from uh, the uh, 
openly declared go to destroy us. Because Bala says, we're going to destroy you. We're going to wipe you off the face of the earth. We're helping Iran that wants to wipe you off the face of the earth. And we're going to bring weapons uh, into Lebanon itself and weapons into Syria from Iran to, uh, uh, for that end, your destruction. So clearly we have the right of self-defense. And, and this is what we're doing. This is not an, a right of self-defense. This is part of the propagation of aggression towards the annihilation of Israel and the conquest of its territories, declared by Hezbollah. So I think there's no, no way to make a similarity there. It's like saying, uh, oh well, the police acted against the bank robbers, so they use violence too. Well, give me a break. There is no symmetry between the bank robber and the police, and there's no symmetry be between the arsonists and the fire brigade. We're the fire brigade. Ah, uh, somebody, yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Prime Minister. I wanted to ask, in September, you exposed the uh, locations of what you said were factories in Lebanon meant to improve the accuracy of mm -hmm. missiles there. Can you tell us what has happened with those since then, as far as you are aware? Yeah, and these three the sites were shut down. They were shut down. Uh, can you say by whom and when? By Hezbollah, and after I spoke at the UN. And in the past, do, can you point to any precedents where the Lebanese government, army, um, and the international community have actually acted as you're asking them to do now well, to change I, I think, the situation in southern Lebanon? I think it's been a long time coming, but UNIFIL has finally filed a report that documents uh, uh, Hezbollah aggression against us. UNIFIL was established, uh, after, uh, was a uh, tasked with preventing smuggling of weapons into southern Lebanon and to prevent aggressive uh, actions uh, across that border uh, after the Second Lebanon War. When the Second Lebanon War ended, there were about 15,000 rockets and missiles in Lebanon aimed against Israel, mostly in southern Lebanon. Today, there are about 150,000, 10 times more. There has not been a single report of a single rocket or a single missile fired by UNIFIL. So the fact that we have, finally, a report from UNIFIL confirming these terror tunnels that are being dug uh, into Israel, violating Security Council uh, 1701, violating Israel's um, sovereignty, um, and violating the basic norms between nations, I think is important. Uh, but it's obviously uh, uh, long overdue. And what has to be done now is to have UNIFIL do something serious. Uh, we await to see that. But in fact, the Lebanese army has done nothing of the kind. It very often cooperates with Hezbollah. It certainly doesn't challenge Hezbollah. And it often uh, it directs its weapons against us. And we saw that just now. They came to the border. What did they do? We're digging on our side of the border, cleaning up these terror tunnels. And the Lebanese army is pointing their weapons against us. Maybe should they, they should direct it against Hezbollah which puts their people in jeopardy uh, and targets uh, our people who are hiding behind uh, their people, the Lebanese civilians. This is, uh, the Lebanese army has been a total failure in this regard. They failed to take action to control their own territory. They failed to take action to, uh, to uh, prevent the use of their territory against the uh, territory of a neighboring state. And they failed to dislodge the tyrannical Hezbollah they haven't even tried. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> given the crucial role of Russia in the region and in this regard, do you have a specific message to the Russians as a Security Council member? Well, I spoke to uh, President Putin the other day, uh, pending this, uh, this meeting today, and I asked uh, that Russia take uh, the right stance, which is to condemn Hezbollah, uh, and not be uh, either supportive of them or neutral in this, because anyone who really supports uh, uh, international norms and who wants to prevent, Russia often says it wants to prevent another war, well, the way to prevent another war is to prevent Hezbollah from uh, acting uh, aggressively against Israel from Lebanon, or for that matter, from Syria. Same thing for Iran. I've said that to Mr. Putin many times, many times, and I repeated that message uh, um, the other day when I spoke to him. Yes. That's it? No more questions?
very public uh, uncovering of these tunnels. To what extent is this uh, preparing the ground for some kind of future Israeli action in Lebanon to get international legitimacy for that action? Uh, I don't understand why I should keep it secret. Hezbollah wants to keep it secret. We have to expose them. I mean, they're saying they're just acting defensively, which is rubbish. Uh, I think it's important to expose them. I don't, address, I don't believe that uh, in the school of being timid and uh, cowering and not uh, speaking out the truth. So we speak the truth. We tell the world what it is. Um, there's such a web of lies, so many lies and so many s smoke screens that are put forward. We want to tear away these, these uh, lies, these masks of, uh, you know, of uh, deceit and show things as they are. Hezbollah is a tool of Iran. Both are committed to our destruction. They use uh, criminal methods, illegal methods, war criminal methods, commit war crimes against our civilians, and they commit war crimes against Lebanon civilians. The Lebanese government, which should be the first to challenge this and to protest this, is doing nothing at best and colluding at worst. That's the truth. That has to be exposed, condemned, and acted against. And there's no way to do that with a blanket of silence. Thank you. My message is Hezbollah is putting you in great jeopardy. You should act in your own defense and roll them back. Fight Hezbollah for the future of Lebanon.